Shalom, shalom, shalom. Yeah, this is your brother Banyamian from Church of Yahoshai 144 coming to you with another video, man. Because Yasharala have done wrongs, man. And true, we have done wrongs, we have to get punishment, man. So the punishment what we're getting from our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Shimon Mashiach Yahoshai, man, is because of the wrong that we have done, man. Okay? So let me start out by saying, call you all Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shai, by Shem, Rakaa Kadash. Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai. I'm money well up. Yeah, man, because for too long, man, let me sound off the trumpet as well. Yeah, man. Sometimes you have to roll out the trumpet, you know? Yeah. Now it read. Isaiah chapter 5 and we start at 24 and it reads Therefore as the fire devour the stubble and the flame consume the chaff so their root shall be as the rottenness and their blossom shall go up as dust because they have cast away the law of the Lord Yahweh Bashima Mashiach Yahushai of Os and despise the word of the Holy One of Yasharala. Now we despise the word of Yahweh Bashima Yahushai man. So you see, because of all those wrong man, we are getting punishment man. The last church 40 man man and the Lord have beat us man. Okay? All these commotion where you see taking place with us man is the Lord stretch 40 Zan man. And giving us this beat, man. Okay? These devils shooting us all over the planet, man. Everybody not like us. Everywhere you're going to this earth, man. People just look at you and don't like you. Calling you a nigger. For no reason at all, man. You know? Everywhere you go in this planet, man. You haven't done anybody anything and they just see and don't like you. The Lord put the spirit on them, man. The curse is on us, man. For, don't, for them not like we. So imagine if we just put ourselves back to the laws and start to live as Yahweh by Shimei Arshai taught us to live, man. None of these people, man, can ever match us, man. I even hope in their mouth against us. Because what? We will have that edge around us and we have our protection. Okay? So let me read 25. Therefore, is the anger of Yahweh by Shema Mashiach Yahushai kindled against his people? And he had stretched forth his hand against them and had smite, smitten them and hill and slaki, and the hill hills did tremble and their carcass were torn in in the midst of the street. For all this, his hunger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. So you see, the earth, the hill did tremble when he stretched forth his hand, man. So imagine the hill is such a rocky place, man. And we look of flesh and blood, man. Standing up to a terrible power like that, man. Disobeying that power, man, after we see all these dust rise out of this hill. These landslide, these trees fall down from the ill when the ill tremble, man. But still, his hand is still stretched out. So you see, we still have little grace left, you know. So it's up to Uno. Right now, if you come all up and look at grace where him have still left, stretch out him and waiting, calling us back. You know? Or if not, just want some judgment, man. Okay? Because Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man, we need him, man. He don't need us, man. Okay? So we just need to buckle our belt, man, and lace up our shoes, man, and return unto Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man, because there is no other way, man. Any other way, man, is the wrong way, man. So you know what? Just want some judgment if you decide to lace up your shoes and come over to this side. Okay? Now we start with Exodus chapter 15 and we start at uh, 7 and it read And 
in the greatness of thy excellence. And it read, in the greatness of thy excellence, thou hast overthrown them that rose up against thee. Thou sentest forth thy wrath, which consumed them as trouble, and with the blast of thy nostril the water was gathered together the flood stood upright as a heap and the deep were conclaved in the heart of the sea so you see this mighty power man Yahweh by Shimia or Shimon oh my god how by Shimon Mashiach Yahushai to other man the Heavenly Father is such an amazing power, man. Verse 9. The enemy said, I will pursue, I will overtake, I will divide the spoil. My loss shall be satisfied upon them. I will draw my sword. My hand shall destroy them. So this is all what the enemy said, man. This is all what the enemy hoped to until this day. They take in and divide us, man. The Lord sheer we all up to them, man. We are in Australia. We are in uh, India. We are in... You name it, man. We are every part of this continent, man. We have every part of this world, man. Everywhere on this planet, you find an Israelite, man. We're scattered right through the nation, man. All nation. Because what? We keep on following their dirty ways, man. So yeah, by Shimi Ashai just scatter us all over the place, man. So heavy way scatter us. Nobody don't like us, us, man. Everybody look at us, man, like no one. But they know who we really are. That's why they look at us like this look a fool, man. Look how them get the planet for rule and look how we are walk on them like them is no one. Yeah? This is how these people looking at us right now. So we need to understand what's going on, Yasharala, and move back to Yahweh by Shima Mashiach Yahushai because without that man, we're gonna perish in this place where we are, man. Okay? And Yahweh by Shima Yahushai, man, he loves us, man, and he just wants us to get the understanding of what we're supposed to do and come back home, man. But you see, who now come home just want some judgment, man? Okay, and we go 2 Kings 22 and we start at 13. Go he, go he, inquire of the Lord for me and for the people and for all Judah concerning the word of this book that is found for great is the wrath of Yahweh by Shema Mashiach Yahushai that is kindled against us because our father have not hearkened unto the word of this book to do according unto all that which is written concerning us say Simon our father didn't hearken to this book man most of our forefathers the one before man they hearken that the King David King Solomon Gideon you know so on and so forth they hearken, but most of these prophets as well, they was in captivity. The Jeremiah's, you know, the e e Ezekiel, you know. These men was prophet in captivity with Yasharallah. But they was waking up uh, Yasharallah from the captivity. But you know, until this day, man, with strange captivity after captivity, 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 coming around, man, you know. So, Yahweh by Shimi Shai, man, it's terrible, man. Look at these dogs, what he put to rule over us, man. These people, he'll take them from the cave, man, and bring them to come rule over his glorious people, man. How more do you want to endure, Yasharallah? Boy, I'm telling you, man, oh, my people, they're tough. They like to get beaten, man, to and fro. Yeah, let me go to um, Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. Chapter 29, and we start at uh, 
25. And it read. Then shall man say, because they have forsaken the covenant of Yahweh by Shema Mashiach Yahushai, of their, of their fathers, which he made with them, when he brought them forth out of the land of Egypt. For they went and served other gods and worshipped them gods who they knew not and who he had not given unto them. So Yahweh by Shema Mashiach Yahushai, man, he told us, man, not to serve any graven image, man, not any other god, man. But our people still go and serve graven image, man. You understand? Boy, oh boy. When we going to understand what's going on? Let me jump to uh, 20, 20, 28. And the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Mashiach Yahushua, rooted them out of their land in in anger and in wrath and in great indignation and cast them into other land as it is this day. So you see, Yahweh by Shimei Arashai man root, to root up us man from our land man because of this damn rebellion, rebellious people man. So we've been cast right into all people land man Everywhere you can think of on this planet, man, you find your in there, man, going to and fro, man, digging like a damn rat, man, you know? We shouldn't have to be like this, man. But you know what? <laughs> As Jeremiah said, man, is Israel a slave, man? Is he a homeboy? You understand? Why so spoiled? Yeah, man. Let me go to Psalms, chapter 52, verse 5, and it reads, Yahweh shall likewise destroy thee forever. He shall take thee away and pluck thee out of thy dwelling place and root thee out of the land of the living. Selah. Yeah, man. So, Yahweh by Shimei and Shimon, this is when he root us out our place, man, and take us to these other people and, man, because we're following them, man. So, if punish us by throwing us into other people and who really do not like us. So while he do all of these things to us, man, it's for us to take all this beating and come back strong and have some ambition. But it seems like Yahweh by Shimei Ashai do all of these things and no none of Yasharala really taking heed of what really the punishment that have to bear. They love punishment so much that <laughs> Just want some judgment, man. Because it seems like there's no other way to you but just judgment. You love judgment. So yeah, by Shimei Hashem, we'll give it to you, man. Jeremiah chapter 11. And we start at 16. And it read, The Lord called thy name a green olive tree, fear and of goodly fruit. So you see, the Lord called thy name as a green olive tree fear and goodly fruit with the noise of a great with slakia with the noise of a great tumult he had kindled fire upon it and the branch of it are broken say so see we were such a green Olive tree, man, fear and goodly, man, fruits, you know, and you how about Shimei Hashem kindle fire upon it, man. So you see, if we're not doing good, man, don't think because you how about Shimei Hashem choose us to be His people, man. If we're not obeying, man, you're gonna get beat, man. You're gonna get punishment, and our punishment is so sore, man. How it feel to know that this earth was made for our sake and because of disobedience, you can't really enjoy what was made for your sake, man. 
other people enjoying it, ruling over you as if you're no one, man. It's just, it, 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 it's not nice, man. Surely oppression make a wise man mad, man. So I can understand a lot of people don't really mad in and know what's going on because it's, because they don't understand what's going on. But a man who have this knowledge and understanding what really supposed to be happening on this planet Earth, man, he's going to be a wise and a man that is very upset. You know? Because with this knowledge and understanding, man, how we know that we supposed to be the earth rightful ruler and we are not ruling the earth in righteousness, man. The earth been turned upside down, man. Ruled by a set of people who don't even take the Lord. Nothing for your how by Shimei or Shai to put in force onto this earth, man, in righteousness. The earth has been given in the hands of the wicked, man. The wicked is ruling the earth. Because of the righteous people disobedient. But this wicked that is ruling the hurt man is here to put us back into a good frame of mind by beating your hell to powder man. Beating us continually for us to wake up and see that something is totally wrong here. But it seems like our people man, they love being beaten man. They love being Kneel on man. They love being beaten to powder man. Because I can't say better man. Let me jump to verse 19. But I was like a lamb or an ox that is brought to the slaughter. And I knew that they. And I knew that they had despised, devised against me saying let us destroy the tree with the fruit so the tree with them destroy with the fruit them destroy our law man statue and commandment man because when you go to these christian church man these christian church tell you all kind of foolery man tell you about you how by shima mashiach you shy Anyway, they, these Christian church don't talk about Yahweh by Shimi Mashiach Yahushai. They tell you about Jesus, man. And they're preaching another Jesus, man. They're not preaching the Jesus of this Bible, man. They're not preaching about Yahweh by Shimi Mashiach Yahushai of this Bible. They're preaching some follies, man. They're preaching things that we knew, we, our forefather knew not of. So they stray our mind away, man, by brainwashing us, man. Okay, so let us destroy the tree with the fruit thereof and let us cut them. Slack here. Let us cut him off from the land of the living and his name may be no more remembered. Say, so see, the name may be no more in remembrance. So that's Psalms 83. We'll go to Psalms 83. Psalms 83, and we start at um, Psalm 83, we start at 2. It reads Psalms chapter 83, verse 2. For lo, thy enemy have made a tumult, and they that hate thee had lifted up thy heads. So you see, they that hated us lifted up their heads against us, and they take. Let me read. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. And consulted against thy hidden one. So we are the hidden one, man. And they take crafty counsel, man. So they all plan up together, man. All these other nations, man. And come and devour us, man. Okay? So all these people, man, they mean us no good, man. Stop worrying yourself about other nations, man. You are the Israelite of the Bible, man. And Yahweh Shema Mashiach Yahweh Shai only dealing with. Yasharala man. So why should you think about other people when the Lord does dealing with you? After other people beat you guys to powder man, disrespect you, call it all sight and name man. Don't worry about them no more, Yasharala. We need to come home. You understand? Because yo, for too long man, our people are stuck in all kind of madness, man. We need to elevate our mind man and start to move. 
with proper understanding, man, and move from out of this slumber sleep, man. We're tired of taking beating from all these Gawaiams, man. All these other nations, man, they are dogs, man. Who show are these nations strong as us, man? Who can do what we do in this life, man? Even though we're under this curse. Yahabai Shema Mashiach Yahushai still have his hands stretched out for us. Let me go to Deuteronomy chapter um, 8. And we start at 5. And it reads, thou shalt, thou shalt also consider in thy heart that as a man trusted his son, so the Lord Yahweh by Shiba Mashiach Yahushai, that Yahweh trusted thee. So you see, Yahweh by Shiba Mashiach Yahushai love us so much, man. So we him love us, he more trusted us. You understand? Because if me have my son and I tell my son not to do something, man, and he keep on doing what I said not to do, what do you think I'm going to do with him? I'm gonna I'm I'm I am i am i going to put him in some punishment until he knows say if nothing do what I say he must not do he must to abide and stick by the rules you understand so that is our maker Yahweh Bashim Mashiach Yahushai saying we should stick by his rule man we shouldn't go around what he says man okay now let me go to Hebrews chapter twelve verse six for who the Lord Yahweh by Shema Mashiach Yahushai love it, he trusted and scourged it. Every son who he receive it. So you see, Yahweh by Shema Mashiach Yahushai, man, he's gonna, he love us so much. So what? Because he love us, he's gonna put us in punishment for us to learn where we are going wrong. Not for us to be uh, continually and get this chuck, get this chuck, uh, just get totally annihilated. No, he just put us to get punished for us to understand where we went wrong so we can move from that way of life and come back to his way so we can live in an upright, righteous manner. Again, like how we used to live before. Our forefathers used to live in such a righteous way, man. And everyone see them, they know that what time is it, man. Not to mill around, man. Okay? So let me go to Proverbs. Uh, Proverbs. Proverbs. So for too long, our people seems like they don't want to come out of this way of life, man. Because this way of life is not good for us. It's polluted, man. It's holding us down. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 22. I read, O long, ye simple one, will you love simplicity? Say, see, see? How long will we love simplicity, man? Our people is so simple. They don't know when to stop doing foolery, man. They just live into this simple way of life. They're not even thinking in the try to wake up out of this simple way of life, man. Because doing all this madness, man, jump up and um, sit down watching these TVs, these television, man. You're just being programmed, man. So those things are simplest, man. So when you start being simple, man, is when you take up the book, man. Take up the Bible, man. When you take up the book, man, you start being simple, man. And you start read. And get the understanding what you, the purpose of you and this earth, man. Not to be doing all of this madness, man. Pleasing, man, man. Yasharala, you need to please your how about Shimi or Shai, man. That's the only way you can maintain a life on this earth, man. And live to see a golden age. Okay. Yeah man. And it read. And the scorners delight in their scorning. And fools hate knowledge. Say if you don't like this Bible man. You're a damn fool man. Fool hate knowledge man. 
you know. And right now, we need to come home to how by Shimmy or Shai, man, and get this knowledge, man. Because without this knowledge, man, boy, may I tell you, we are going to perish. You understand? But you see, most of us will come home, you know. But a lot of us has to go. Because we make this place our resting place, man. But we know that this place is not our rest, man. Yaba Shimmy or Shai make us know that, man. And I go Jeremiah chapter 7. And we start at 3. And it read. Though thus says the Lord Yahweh by Shema Mashiach Yahushai of Oz. The power of Yasharala. Amen. Your ways. Amend your ways and your and your doing. And I will cause you to dwell in this place so if we amend our ways and change and come home to Yahweh by Shema Mashiach Yahweh Shai you know what he might go look after us okay his hand is still stretched forth so what uh, you know come hold on for that hand you go wait till he move that hand and the destruction come if I were you man I jump to that hand man verse 5 for if you truly amend your ways and your doing, if you truly execute judgment between a man and his neighbor, so you know, we're not going to see things going on with our neighbor, man, and we don't stand up, man, and try to show our neighbor right from wrong, man. That's the way we're supposed to live together, man. We're not going to see each other Falling down, man, and push him down, man. We're not going to live like crab in barrel, man. This is the love that you have about Shima Mashiach Yahushai want Yasharala to show to each other. So let us do this, man, in righteousness. Verse 12. But go he now unto my place, which was in Shiloh, where I set my name at the first and see what I did to it. For the wickedness of my people, Yasharala. See? For the wickedness of my people, Yasharala. John to verse 19. Do they provoke me to anger, says Yahweh Ba'ashem Mashiach Yahushai. Do they not provoke themselves to confusion? Of their own face. See? So we confusion of our own face, man. That means we're shame, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> shame face, bruv. Confusion of our own face. Look at us. Everybody looking down on us, man, like we are the bottom of the barrel, man, which we are in this place, man. But you know, better days are coming, man. Better days are coming because Yahweh Bashimi are shy. He loves us, man. That's why he chast chastises us, you know. So let me go to Lamentation chapter 5. And we start at um, Lamentation chapter 5. And we start at 2. Uh, let me start at 1. Remember, O oh Lord, what is come up, come up on us. Consider and behold our reproach. Our inheritance is turned to stranger, our host to alien. So you see, our Yahweh Shema Mashiach Yahushai is so terrible, man. He chose out of our land. And who is in our land right now? Strangers. Our host to alien. So I tell you before, man, these people are no one, man. These people who's over there in Yasharala land in Israel, man. They are aliens, man. So you see, we are the rightful ruler of this earth, man. The Lord call these people aliens, man. And they're walking around over there say they are the Jews. So if you are the Jews, where's the rest of the tribe? Huh? We have 12 tribes. Where's the rest of the tribe if you are the Jews? You're nothing but aliens, man. And you're going to be burned, man. Very soon, man. 
very, very soon, you're going to be burned out of that place, man. Because you have a shimu mashiach, you was shy. He, he, he was just hungry with us, man. And his hunger kiddled for a very long time because our people has been sleeping for so long, man. They has no understanding when to turn. But in the last days that we are living, he waking us up, man, in mass numbers. And we coming home. And we coming home as madmen. Okay? So, there you have it, man. Let me jump to seven. Our father have sinned and are not. Our father have sinned, man. We have been, we sinned too as well because what? We come and didn't understand because what? Whole fool grow young fool. But yeah, why should I put the spirit on us, man? And wake us up from this dry bone, man. We are finding um, um, Ezekiel, man, 37, man. He wake up us from this dry bone, man, and put on flesh power, man. So right now, we have the understanding of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Shema Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. Our Father have sinned and are not, and we have borne their iniquity, man. So we borne their sins, man. Servant as ruler over us there is none that don't deliver us out of their hands nobody can deliver us out of these servants and man it's just yahweh by shema mashiach yahweh shai who put us in the in their hands in the first place it's only him can deliver us out of these goyams and man so with that being said man we're still holding on man and we know that yahweh by shema mashiach yahweh shai He's going to come. He's going to raise up. He's going to uh, stand up and bring us back to our glory days, man. So we are waiting patiently on that day, man. So let me go to Hosea chapter 15. Slakia. Hosea chapter 5 verse 15. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face in their affliction. They will seek me early. Of course, we have to seek him early because them beating where we are get. Fed shooting us down on the street. Holding us up anywhere on the road. Treating us as if we are no one. Pulling man out of their car. Shooting them. Man sleeping in his car, you just take him out of car, ask him a couple of questions, then later on you see him spread out, shot. Yo man, I'm telling you man, <laughs> we acknowledge and we see a lot of things that's going on man, and enough is enough man. Yasharala, we need to understand that this is not our place of rest man, so we need to move with speed because if we're not going to move with speed you know dog near my supper Jeremiah chapter 12 and we start at 15 and it read and it read and it shall come to pass after that I will pluck them out I will return and have compassion on them and will bring them again every every man to his heritage and every man to his land say how about Shema Mashiach Yara Shai man when he return man he's gonna have compassion on us man he's gonna have mercy on us man say you know his wrath is kindly coming to a close man and we praise him for that man call you all how about Shema Shai man by Shema Kakadash man I'll praise this man. Let me go to Daniel chapter 9. Daniel chapter 9. And we start at 19. And I read. O Lord, hear. O Lord, you how about Shema Mashiach Yahushai. Forgive, O Lord, Yahweh, by Shema Mashiach Yahushai. Akin. And do 
defer not for thy own sake, O my Yahweh by Shema Mashiach Yahushai. For thy city and thy people are called by thy name. So we are called by Yahweh by Shema Mashiach Yahushai name, man. So Yahweh by Shema Mashiach Yahushai, we are calling upon Yahweh by Shema Mashiach Yahushai for mercy. You know? So here we have it, man. Second Chronicle, chapter 7, verse uh, 14. And it reads, If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. So you how about Shema Mashiach, you shy, man. We just have to hark in, man, and listen, man. And come home to our maker, man. You understand? Because Yahweh Bashim Mashiach Yahushai, you have mercy on us. He loves us. That's why he, he, he hasn't devoured us, man. He beat us so much by the hands of these devils, man. But he still loves us, man. So we just need to understand what's going on. And you know, let me let me go with the scripture anyway. Acts chapter five, verse twenty nine, and it read. Then Peter, and the other apostle, answered and said, "We ought to obey Yahweh rather than man." So a lot of people in this uh, earth right now, man. If the government tell them to wear a mask, man, everybody have on a mask, man. If the government tell them to stay in their house, man, everybody stay in their house, man. If the government tell them to, listen, man, one hour at the park, man, everybody go to the park for an hour, watching their time, coming back home. So these people, they rather serve man rather than the power that build this whole planet, man. I'd rather serve the power that build this old planet, man. I don't fear man, man. You understand? I think um second second Timothy chapter two verse seven. We don't have the spirit of fear, man. I believe. Second Timothy chapter two. Uh Second Timothy chapter one verse seven. Chapter 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7, I believe. Roughly paraphrased. We don't have the spirit of fear, man. We don't fear man, man. Okay? You how about Shimon Mashiach Yahweh Shai? Verse 3. For Yahweh of our father raising up Yahweh Shai, who they slew and hung on a tree. Him had Yahweh exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Yasharala and forgiveness of sin. See, you see, we the only one that got repentance, man. We the only one can repent from our sin, man. They are the rest of nation, man. They are just, what well, I should say, they, 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 they are just extras. Extras to come and do my work. And when we get the kingdom, man, the kingdom is going to be on earth. And when we get the kingdom, they're they, they going to be my handmaid and workman. You know? They're going to be no more hard working, man. The hard work is going to deliver unto them, man. Because how by Shimi Arshai is coming to be our saviour, man. And we are repenting right now, man. That's why we can stand here and read these scripture, man. And go in the scripture very well, man. And find out the understanding of what's in this book, man. Because these things that was written was written for our learning, man. Yeah, man. And let me go to um, 
Proverbs chapter 3. Proverbs chapter 3. And we start at 5. And it read Trust in the Lord Yahweh by Shiba Mashiach with all thy heart and lean not unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. Be not wise in thy own eyes. Fear Yahweh by Shibu Mashiach Yahushai. Apart from evil. So, yeah, man, we need to fear Yahweh by Shibu Mashiach Yahushai, man, and depart from evil, man. Because this is the only way we're going to really and truly put back in our righteous way, in our righteous um, part, man. We have to fear Yahweh by Shibu Mashiach Yahushai. With all thy heart, man. Okay? So, let me get to um, Tobit. Tobit, chapter 12. And we start at 10. But they that sin are enemy to their own life. So, you see, if we sin, we will be an enemy to our own life man so we have to rebuke from sinning man stop doing that man wisdom of solomon chapter 1 verse 12 and it read seek not death in the error of your life and pull and pull not upon your self-destruction with the works of your hand for yahweh made not death Neither had he pleasure in the destruction of the living. So Yahweh by Shema Mashiach Yahushai, man. He's not the Yahweh of the dead, man. He's the father of the living, man. So with that being said, man, I'm just going to close it off with that. I'm just going to close out and say, Call Yahweh Yahweh. Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Akakadash. Glory and honor to your name, O Yahweh, Bashem, Mashiach, Yahushai, man. Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh, Shai. Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh, Shai. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, I gotta say, salutation to all the Ak and the Akwaf out there who is in this truth, in truth and sincerity. Shalom to all of the elders who are out there pushing this word, teaching the young man, teaching Yasharala for all these number of years, man. I salute you, man, in righteousness. And I salute all my brothers, out there where we go on the highways and the byways on the edge to push this word in truth and sincerity, man. I say shalom unto you, man. Until another one, shalom.